right um going to retreat one of the cool things about many retreats is the gift giving so at the retreat that's hosted by LAMQG, that's not the one I'm going to, but that one we do like a, a swap, like a fairy swap, which I love because I love to spoil people. I love to spoil people so much. So one of my favorites, um, this one is I See Stars. You guys know her, Kristen, um, over on I See Stars Quilting. She's got an amazing channel and she is doing a retreat and I'm excited about it. So... I did something that I would never do, and that is I will be staying on property with other people. I never, I mean, since I've been an adult, I really just get my own room, but I wanted to be a part of everything, the goings-on. I don't want to miss anything, FOMO. So I'm going to be in a room with some ladies, and my husband might have once or twice on accident said that I snore. He doesn't say it anymore, but that's probably because I gave him the wife stare. But anyway, um... And I feel bad. So I've got to shower them with the things and maybe some earplugs. One of the things that I thought would be really cute in their gift, I don't know if it's going to be a gift bag or what, it's going to be a gift of something, is to do pillows, right? It makes sense. We're going to retreat. It feels genius. But I can't just do pillows because I'm me and I like to spoil people and I like to do too much all the time. So we are embroidering these pillows with their names on them. I know who I'm staying with. I hope that doesn't change. Otherwise, it's going to be weird. But... Um, I tried to be sneaky and I tried to do a little bit of going around on their, their social media. One of them has a little bit. One of them has like very, barely anything. So I'm kind of just winging it. This feels right though. This just feels so pretty. I was in the mood for some Anna Maria Horner. We're doing a pillow. It's going to be nice and easy. We're going to do 27 inches here. We've got the cuff at nine inches. We've got the, the accent piece at three inches. And now I'm getting ready to cut on that side down there. We're going to try to get 44 inches, but I don't know that we will. I can't believe I'm not in a room with just one person, but two people. My goodness. I walk around the side of my mat and I get my yardstick and I can see that salvage is going to end right here with, and that does not give me 44 inches, but I think we'll be fine. We just want to be sure to take off all the salvage. Again, I'm at 21 inches and whatever white is showing will get caught in the seam allowance. So this one here is for a woman named Ginger. I've never met these people before. I'm sure they don't know who on earth I am, but Ginger, right? Best name ever. Love it. I love her already. I believe that she is an interior designer, so I feel like she'll probably appreciate, I don't know, hopefully she likes florals. Who knows, guys? But this was just a killer color combination, in my opinion. I'm going to show you the next one right now. So if you are using fabric that is non-directional, which I chose, non-directional fabric, 100% on purpose, you are good with three quarters of a yard of that fabric and then a quarter yard of your cuff and then just your accent strip is just three inches so you can do with that how you want but um, you know your pillow can go from being inexpensive to super luxurious within a few within a few moments depending upon if it's directional or if it's not if it's directional I think you need to use, oh, I think it's a yard and a quarter or a yard and a half. Um, I forget the exact measurements. But don't worry, I have a full tutorial on directional fabric pillowcases and how to do a pillowcase set if it's directional so that it opens the correct way. And yes, I'm one of those people who believes that pillowcases are supposed to open to the outside where you get in. I'm very funky about when I make up the bed and which direction the pillowcase <laughs> which direction the pillowcase opens I'm that person so this is nine inches again we're gonna do three nine twenty seven it's easy to remember because three times nine equals twenty seven so I chose purples for Shannon because I saw 
that she likes purple on her on her Instagram so purple she gets so I'm just gonna lay this out like I did the other one and chop it off so now we've cut this side off oh that's gorgeous this is going to be one beautiful whatever this is a pillowcase this is gonna definitely be a pillowcase all right so now I'm gonna take this cuff right here this uh, accent strip and I'm gonna press it in half then I'm gonna take the cuff and we're gonna do some things with that actually I'm gonna press this cuff in half also so I'm gonna take your accent strip and your cuff and press them both in half so with our cuffs they are already probably pressed in half pretty good I'm gonna go on ahead and it's in half currently I'm gonna fold it one more time and hit it with an iron on the fold and I want some pretty good crease marks in here I want to see what's going on oh hot so hot I want to fold it in half this way and press this crease right here into it. I'm just trying to divide this up so that I can kind of get where the center is going to be. So we have a crease here, a crease here, a crease here. So right those three and then down this side. And that way we know kind of about where to put our name because we are going to be going down to the embroidery department <laughs> and we're gonna put, we're gonna embroider the name on here. I was thinking about putting some interfacing on the fabric before um, but I'm not I'm just going to not I'm just gonna hope it pretty good and we are going to let it happen we'll see how how it works with the first one um, you don't have to but I was certainly thinking about putting some shape flex in here just because you know I really don't want any puckering to happen but we'll see how this works out now we know that with the pillow, there's a fold here and this is the way that it's gonna open. So I think I want the name to be pointed that direction. Um, and we are going to, this one is for Shannon. So we're gonna put Shannon here. And instead of centering it here, I know that over here, I'm gonna take about 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm probably gonna move her name down 5 eighths of an inch from, from this center right here. You know what, I also forgot that I'm gonna press this one more time like this, this way. Just so I can see where this center is also. Just so that I can kind of see where these are. So I'm gonna press it like this and then we'll do it. So I just finished embroidering on this uh, pillowcase cuff. So as you can see here, this is my center line. This is the second center. I have that lined up with the second center. I have two layers of uh, tear away with a topper on anytime you're gonna be doing a lot of washing and whatnot. My understanding is that you want some topper on there. It looks good. It gave me some fits, but I think that was just me not loading my bobbin properly. Anyway, um, but this is the center line and I wanted to make sure that it faced that way and I already did Shannon so let's go on ahead and finish putting together this pillowcase all right now that we've got everything embroidered and whatnot I'm gonna lay this out I have a pretty good workspace you could do this on a um, on your table on your bed you could do it wherever you need to it doesn't matter and then I'm going to open this up and right sides up. 
everything right sides up. We are going to match that up. And then I'm just going to fold this up a little bit. And then I'm going to put the this guy with this and I'll roll it all up in my burrito. So I am rolling and pulling this up. Um, make sure that all the raw edges are together. You can put some pins in there. I'm just gonna throw a couple of wonder clips. Now remember, you have just basically quilted or sewn through or embroidered on this, so you're probably gonna have to do some easing um, to make sure that everything lines up because, you know, it eats into some of that fabric. Not a lot. It's about an eighth, I'd say, off. Because remember, we cut them all to be the same length. So they should be exact. But not a problem. Not a problem at all. It's not enough to have to worry about it. But you probably will have to ease a little bit. Give it a little tug, a little stretch. Not going to hurt the pillowcase. You're probably thinking, why am I doing this before... I roll it all up. I just find that it's easier to make sure that everything is lined up this way first and then come back and encase it and just grab the rest. You'll see. You'll see. So I've got my wonder clips in here and now that I have the burrito I'm just gonna roll up a little bit more and then pull everything inside and just readjust these so that I get everything. Such an easy, cool, fun project. I think I'm gonna do a live video where I do a lot of pillows because I think I said I wanted to do 10 pillows for charity. And so we are going to do 10. I said it, I'm going to do it before the year is up. It's really important to me that I get my charity stuff done. I wanted to get it done before the end of the year, but that didn't work. So, all right, here we are. And now we're just going to sew all the way down with the quarter inch seam. Easy peasy. Now I have sewn all the way through here. And then here's where the magic comes in. We pull out the innards and then it gets fun. So let's see. We're going to pull out the innards. Okay, what did we learn? <laughs> the name, put, I'm going to have to put it down here and hope for the best and hope that it comes out right because it just came out and it was absolutely upside down. Did a little seam ripping. We're going to do it all over again and hopefully it comes out the proper way. Well, after much... I don't even understand the things that went wrong here. This is a 10 minute pillowcase. Why did it take me all day? Who knows? It didn't really take all day, but it did. It came out just the way that I wanted it to. And now I'm getting ready to start doing the, um, the seams. And so we're going to do French seams. Of course, I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch down that side and then down the bottom. So we've got it. It looks cute. I like it. Now I am sewing down the side, sewing up the side here. We're going to do French seams and then we will be all done. I just put a quarter inch seam down this side. Now I've got to do a quarter and I sew off the side and then I'll do a quarter inch seam down the bottom. And then we will flip this inside out and do it again. We'll trim it and then we'll flip it upside down. We'll do it again. So I've done a quarter inch seam and now I'm going to take off half of that seam. So I'm going to put the line that I can barely see because it's black on the one eighth mark. And I'm just going to take it off, making sure not to cut the actual seam. And I'm doing this across my mat like this because I'm using a... This ruler is a, a yard. I'll do the same thing here. We're just gonna make sure that we take off half of it. 
it doesn't have to be exactly right you just want to make sure you do not cut off the actual seam that you just sewn I'm gonna cut off a little bit more at the top. The bottom looks great. But the cool thing is, instead of sewing a quarter of an inch, I'm actually going to sew three eighths instead of a quarter to make sure that I get this caught up. Perfect. So again, we used a little bit bigger than a quarter inch to make sure that we got everything and I know we did and now we can turn this baby right side out and give it a final press and move on. Looks good. Looks good. It might not be dead center, but it's it's close. This is a beautiful pillowcase. I want it. I want it. I'm gonna live life on the edge. Remember when we first started, we had done this and we put it just like this and then we did our, our burrito. I'm curious to see what happens if I don't put this right sides up and if I put it right sides down to see if I will get the exact same results. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna try it anyway, just to see what happens because I'm living life on the edge. So I'm putting this, instead of right side up, I'm putting it right side down. And then I'm gonna put this on top and see what we get. So I put the trim down on the cuff. I have put this right side down and I'm curious to see what happens. No clue. Let's just live on the edge. I've got I've got Jack handy. I'm okay with it. Well, turns out we hit the nail on the head with that one. So if you, you know, just <laughs> I wish I, you know, I wish I had known then what I know now. But there we are. It came out perfect. It's on the proper side. We just put the the cuff down strip down fabric face down and we were good and then when you pull it you've got what you need and then we can close this bad boy up without any issues and we'll have another nice pillowcase again I'm going to do my quarter inch seam and uh, this is this is awesome well Shannon's done and I am very pleased this one is centered much better and I mean the easiest way to really center this would be to make the pillowcase and then just be okay with the embroidery showing on this side um, but eh, eh, I didn't want to do that I wanted to do it this way so here we are now we have some pillowcases we've got some puckering here but I'm sure I could press that out um, to some degree and that is that i hope that they like it i want you guys to tell me what else i should put in their little packages that i'm going to put on their bed since they're my roommates and here is ginger ginger and shannon i think they came out so cute all right guys let me know what you think let me know if this is something you would try and i will catch you guys later